Welcome to the American Public Gardens Association's new community discussion forums. In this video, we will cover some of the basics of how to get started with this highly interactive platform for garden professionals. To view the communities, you must first log in as a member of our association website. Please go to the homepage and click the login button. Enter your email. and your password. Click sign in. When you return to the home page, you can access the communities in the pull down menu under professional development. When getting started, you will have to agree to the terms and conditions, which will appear when you first log in. It will keep loading the page until you agree. First, let's access your member profile in the top right corner. Your member information is imported from the association database. Please take a moment to check it for accuracy. You can also add or change a profile picture. The more you fill out your profile and participate in your community, the more points you accumulate and the more badges you will receive. Under the My Account tab, you can select Community Notifications to adjust your email notifications. The default is set to deliver a daily digest of posts from each of your communities, but you can choose to receive notifications in real time as members post. A key feature of this new system is that you can respond to topics in the community directly via email. There is no need to return to the website and log in again. You can change the notifications by scrolling down to Notification Settings and selecting your preferred communication method. From the member profile, you can select Communities to access the forums of which you are a member. You can also access via the Communities tab, selecting All or My Communities. When you access an individual community, the Announcement section gives you additional information about how to use the communities. Topics within the community are listed by the most recent post. To post a message, across, access the community you want to post in and click Add. You can choose to cross post to another community of which you are a member. Remember to enter a subject and the content of your post. Your section community also has a library feature where shared files are stored. These are files for your section only. They are not publicly accessible and should be things like meeting minutes and other documentation about the community. You can also post items to the library by clicking attach. It allows you to drag and drop files or you can access your um, computer to choose the files from the directory. Click send to post your topic. You can also post resources to the section library by clicking the library tab on your community and then create new library. You can also post to the library by using the Participate tab and sh selecting Share a File. These files will remain in your community library. You can browse all library entries and post a new one using the Create New Library button You can also send direct messages to members using the platform by going to the Participate tab and selecting Send Direct Message. after which you can type in a name, organization, or email to bring up the person you would like to contact. After selecting a contact, either click on their name and select Send Message or hover over their name and click Send Message. A notification will be sent to their email and the community inbox when they log into this discussion platform. Lastly, this discussion platform is linked to the six new Find Your Specialty pages with the five most recent posts from your communities appearing there. 
When you click on any of those posts, it will take you to that community. We'll tell you more about the Find Your Specialty pages in the next video. Thank you.